Hi. I didn't see you there. I was just reading a little book called The Intelligent Investor. It's one of Warren Buffett's favorite, by the way. Great, great, great read. I was just checking out this section called The Vodka and Burrito Portfolio. Sounds spicy and really hard on your stomach. I bet you it's risky. Do you know of it? I can read it real quick. Uh, do I know how to read? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I will skip along just a bit. All right, basically Graham in this book is used uh, quite a bit as an example of what he's done. So let's listen. Graham considered foreign bonds no better a bet than junk bonds today. However, one variety of foreign bond may have some appeal for investors who can withstand plenty of risk. Roughly a dozen mutual funds specialize in bonds issued in emerging market nations, or what used to be called third world countries, like Brazil, Mexico, Nigeria, Russia, and Venezuela. Russia, not a great choice right now, by the way. Uh, neither is Venezuela. Actually, a lot of these are not great, but that's probably why they're emerging markets, third world. And it says, no sane investor would put more than 10% of total bond portfolio in spicy holdings like these. But emerging markets, bond funds, seldom move and sync with the U.S. stock market. So they are one of the rare investments that are unlikely to drop merely because the Dow is down. That can give you a small corner of comfort in your portfolio just when you may need it the most. That's pretty interesting because bonds are traditionally the safest thing when you got a crazy market, especially when it's inverse like it's been. And the Dow is expected to go down. It's the main area in the stock market that hasn't gone down. It was a sweetheart during COVID. Can I say that word now on YouTube? During the time we don't talk about viruses going around the world, affecting just about everybody. The Dow prospered greatly. And that is the only section of the market that really hasn't come back down to earth. It was a COVID sweetheart. Damn, I said it again. But it's not going to be that way for long. We're in a bit of a fake rally right now because there's been a lot of optimism out there when you see all these jobs being cut and lost left and right, especially by the tech industry, which is what they've needed to do for quite a while now. They have overhired for a very long time. So they're making cuts, and that's signaling the stock market, guess what? They're probably going to meet uh, their earning per share numbers. It's also showing more unemployment, so the Fed is kind of getting what they want with the interest rates. So that's why the market tends to go up. But it is not going to it's not going to last. I mean, you can't drive around outside right now and or even walk or whatever, go around town. You can't pass a gas station without noticing that those prices are creeping back up. Even when you see crude go down a bit, it's creeping up every day. Sometimes it jumps up 20 cents overnight and it stays there and it hasn't gone back down. So I would put some money in bonds as a great bet. Maybe some bonds that kind of focus on third world countries. Hmm, I'll look into that. The bond I like the most is BND. It's owned by Vanguard, and I bought it around $69, and I've kind of sold out during this fake rally, but as soon as it comes down a little bit, I'm going to be picking up a little bit more. I do a segment called Investing Your Lunch, which is basically, I'm trying to say, if you can just invest the amount of money you would normally spend on breakfast or lunch every day, you can easily grow that to several thousand dollars by the end of the year. If you're new to investing, please like and subscribe. Or if you're a seasoned investor, like and subscribe and contribute 
towards ideas and suggestions of what I should invest in next. Right now, my portfolio, I've been adding Palantir, SoFi, Gold, BND, and some Tesla. Speaking of Tesla, I don't know if that one's going to keep going up. Earnings are tomorrow, and that one could be a reality check. Even if they do somehow beat the numbers and get good news out there, it's just going to probably come down again. There's too much bad PR. So if there's a bump tomorrow and you have some Tesla and you're in the green, it might be worth selling it and then just sitting back a little bit because that stock probably will come back down to the 110s, 120s, and you can re-enter those funds. You can re-enter your funds into the, the, that stock if you like. Anyways, I've rambled on long enough, and I'm just testing out a new camera. So this was kind of all on the fly. I didn't really plan on what to say. But thank you so much for all the subscri subscribers. I believe I've crossed 900 already, and I know most of those folks are picking up some of my older videos, which finally started taking off. Uh, so I thank you so very much. Uh, please do stick around. I will make videos uh, with some cool old military video stuff and um, some lighter restorations and restorations of tools as well. Just because I'm a man of hobbies, I really enjoy doing it. It's just hard finding the time. Uh, and today, huh, today's uh, life basically where I'm at. I'm approaching 40. I got kids, a wife. They have sports. I have work. I also own a small business. It's super hard to find extra time to make videos. I pretty much have to do it when, say, everyone's asleep like right now. But anyways, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking my channel. And I can't wait to uh, read your comments and grow this community and just have fun uh, together picking out stocks and learning from one another in all the ways whether it's about restorations, uh, cool facts about wars and history, or stocks, investing, savings, uh, way to stretch a dollar. I'm interested in all of it, and I want to talk about all of it. So thanks, and I will talk to everyone later. Oh, I forgot I had a cool button. I've turned this off now. All right, peace, y'all.